Hi, my name is Elizabeth Darby. I am the Assistant Clinical Facility Director at the Bradenton Bridge. Actually, this week, I believe it was on the September the 7th or the 13th, will be my fifth year with the company. Okay, basically my job is to oversee the clinical portion of um, uh, the transition program. Um, we have 120 female inmates, 84 of them are in transition and 36 of them are in work release. Most, all of the ones that are in work release now have been through the transition program. And basically my job is to oversee and direct the clinical staff and make sure that the programming is a success uh, for the inmates. Life circumstances probably made me uh, come to work for Bridges of America, but I think it was a turning point in my life and a place that God sent me. Because when I came here, the vision that Bridges of America had is the same personal belief that I've always had, that people can change. And in the five years that I've been with these, this company, I have seen so much growth, both, both personally with myself and with the inmates that we have or the offenders we have at the Bradenton Bridge. I love this company. Um, when things happen in our facility, we have um, something that our facility director implemented. It was called Celebration of Life a few years back. When you see the women and, and when they come in and they're resistant to change and they don't want to be there and they prefer to be in prison because they don't have to answer any questions, they don't have to get out their garbage, they don't have to learn how to interact with other people, um, they're used to being isolated and we tell them no, that, that in order to have a new way of life that you have to change mind, body and spirit that everything about you has to change. It's not only about the criminal behavior or the drugs or whatever brought you here, but everything about your life has to be new. And when I see that happening and when I see women graduate, when I see women come back for alumni, uh, it's just, it's a miracle. I mean, it, it's really a miracle. I don't know any other way to say it. Um, it brings tears to your eyes when you know that you have been a part of such change. I mean, the payoff in it is so great because I know that through God's help, I help implemented somebody, maybe gave them one piece of information that put them on a track towards changing their life so they could go out and be a responsible member of society. I continue in my employment every day I wake up and say, thank you God I have a job because in, in society today, in, in America today, things are hard. But it goes way beyond that because every day I wake up and I'm happy that I go to work. I enjoy my job, I enjoy the people that I work with. This company is um, a blessing to me. My um, husband was diagnosed with liver cancer last year and in um, December, he had a liver transplant, and he almost died, and, I, and he was in the hospital for over three months, and he actually had to have a second liver transplant. You know, people prayed for me. They were constantly emailing me. Um, so it's not like I work for a company that I don't know. I feel that I'm a part of something that's bigger than myself. And, and the company, uh, Lori Brown, Charlie Brown, um, they make you feel like you're a part of a c the company, that you're just not a worker bee and they're just going to pay you a salary. But they expect you. I think that they put expectations on us, and because I believe so much in what, they, what they're doing that I try to raise the, to those expectations because I want them to know that at the Bradenton Bridge, Elizabeth Darby has a positive role in these inmates' lives. I would say 
come aboard to a very diverse population of staff from all walks of life, come and learn a new way of life to live because the staff wants to learn and practice the TC concepts as we want to teach the inmates. Um, come and be a part of a team. You know, come if you're willing to be open and learn. I would say that if you care about people, if you believe that people can change, if you believe in retribution, if you believe that uh, miracles happen, then this is the place where you can see miracles happen.